North Carolina's governor says the Republican running for his position should have resigned years ago. But Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson is refusing to get out of the race amid a swirling controversy over his alleged comments on a porn site. A CNN re investigation reports that he used racist and incendiary language online more than a decade ago. Robinson has been called the has called rather the reporting quote salacious tabloid trash. CBS News saw Robinson at his home today. He would not answer questions about the controversy. And we have CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian there in Raleigh, North Carolina. So Nicole Robinson has flat out denied that he made those comments. How is his rival in the race, North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein, responding? Well, you know, he was pretty sharply worded. He has basically said that he believes that uh, you know, Lieutenant Governor Robinson is unfit for the job. And so I asked him today about that, and he said he stands by those comments. Take a listen. You call the Lieutenant Governor completely unfit. Do you think he should drop out of this race? I don't think he ever should have run. Uh, he is unfit, unsuitable, unqualified to be governor. He says disqualifying things about people. You cannot talk about other human beings the way he does and lead an entire state. Now, interestingly, even though he does see the lieutenant governor as unfit, he also this week came out saying that he will refuse to debate the lieutenant governor. I asked him if his position on that had changed in light of the allegations, if he feels the need to take the lieutenant governor to task on this, and he said no. Uh, and so he doesn't intend to debate him, of course, uh, this being a very heated <laughs> gubernatorial contest. Uh, also, he denied that anyone from uh, his camp was involved in leaking that uh, explosive story to media outlets like CNN. So uh, that being said, you know, Stein, uh, much like other Democrats in the state, uh, feel that it is time for uh, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson to go. But Lana, as you made clear for now, uh, the Lieutenant Governor not backing out of the gubernatorial race. Well, I'm wondering how former President Trump might play into this, because he previously called Robinson Martin Luther King on steroids. Is he doing anything to either encourage him to exit the race or even distancing himself from the lieutenant governor now? Well, one way he's kind of distanced himself is by not weighing into this controversy. And, you know, by and large, again, that's kind of been some of the messaging we have heard more so from Democrats, uh, particularly here in the state. And, of course, Vice President Harris uh, released a new ad trying to tie Trump uh, to Robinson. Uh, many Democrats feel that Republicans in this state uh, should say whether or not they stand with the lieutenant governor or not and kind of take a position on this. And the former president is no exception. He will obviously be here in the state a Saturday. He has a rally in Wilmington uh, down on the coast. And so, uh, you know, we will see if he brings up the issue. One thing we do know is that the lieutenant governor is not expected to attend. Lana? Huh. And he's going, Trump is going to be there because North Carolina is vitally important in the presidential race. And in fact, we actually have some CBS news polling that finds that Trump and Harris are tied in North Carolina. Might this controversy in the governor's race impact the presidential race? Well, I think to your point, you know, that is why the former president is largely staying quiet on this. I mean, look, this is a critical state that is part of his strategy. Uh, he won it uh, back in 2020. He wants to keep this state in his column. But yes, things have tightened here. And that is one reason why we have seen the former president here numerous times. He's probably been here nearly half a dozen times within, you know, the last couple of weeks. So uh, this is a critical state for the former president and for, uh, you know, the vice president as well. But, uh, you know, that is why the former president is spending a lot of time here, hoping uh, that it makes a difference among voters. All right, Nicole Killian, thanks.